health alert tonight. A new study shows Jacksonville is one of the high-risk cities where the Zika virus could spread. The research, supported by the National Institutes of Health, looked at 50 cities in the U.S. where weather and other factors could help the spread of the virus. General Force Nicole Snyder took a look at this information and joins us live now from St. John's County, where one case of Zika virus has already been confirmed. Nicole? Joy, this is the map from the study that shows the 50 cities where the Zika virus could spread. Now, if you take a look at this map, the yellow cities are low risk, the orange cities are moderate, and the red cities are high risk. All the cities in Florida are high risk, and that's mainly because of the climate and the location. As the temperatures go up this spring, so does the fear that the Zika virus could spread across the United States, especially in the South. Right now, the CDC has reported 258 cases of the Zika virus in the United States, and 67 of those are in Florida. All of the cases have been associated with travel or sexual transmission. But the concern is that these numbers will grow as well as the possibility for some of the first locally transmitted cases. If you're traveling to those high-risk countries that the CDC has uh, had mentioned, mostly in the southern hemisphere, what you want to make sure is if you've gotten any mosquito bites or if you have any kinds of illnesses, if you have fever, rash, muscle aches, muscle pains, then you want to see your physician. A new study done by the National Center for Atmospheric Research shows several high-risk cities in the Sunshine State with environments that support the mosquitoes that carry the Zika virus. As they mentioned, almost the entire state of Florida, they talked about Orlando, they talked about Tampa, Miami. It's not because we are southern. We do have high mosquito populations in, in the summertime. Researchers used several factors in this study, including the estimated abundance of mosquitoes, the number of travelers going back to those cities who have visited Latin American countries, previous cases of locally transmitted diseases from these types of mosquitoes, and socioeconomic factors in communities where people have less access to air conditioning and other ways to prevent mosquitoes. Everyone should follow mosquito prevention as per the Department of Health and uh, Florida Department of Health and CDC. You want to make sure that you take away the standing water. Make sure that you're covering your arms and legs during the, during the mosquito season. Dusk to dawn is the highest season, highest time for mosquitoes. And this study says it didn't take into account mosquito control prevention methods, which could also minimize the risk. I'm live from the Mobile Newsroom, Nicole Snyder, Channel 4, The Local Station.